How's it going? You're on COD Ghosts on 360, cause... I mean, why not, right? 100 in TDM. And that's it. <laughs> 11 hardcore TD. <laughs> oh my god, I've never seen that. Look, every other time I've tried like a legacy COD game with like an actual working player counter, there's always like at least like three people in some of the other modes. This is like the first time I've ever seen this. Only in TDM. Also, apparently the 360 version is like kind of modded nowadays. I have both the Xbox One version and the 360 version, so I guess I can like compare them. Maybe. Who's owning Stonehaven? What the hell? I mean, like ghost players, I guess. Stonehaven. Uh, no, no, nobody can save us. Also, in case you're wondering, I am just joking about Stonehaven. Everyone already knows it's like the greatest map of all time. I'm just making jokes, you know, it's, it's like joking about Raid being bad. Both maps, they're like kind of on the same level. Maybe Stonehaven like edges it out at like a little bit. It, it is just the best map of all time. You ever hear I'm using the K7 with all these? Probably not the best idea to use an SMG on this map. The largest map of all time for good reason. Cause it's incredible. Oh, I sometimes forget just how low res Ghost was on here. I always remember that as being like around on par with the Xbox One version. Holy shit. That is insane. Is this how people play Ghost normally? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of just like playing relaxed as possible. I don't want to alert anyone. Right, I'm not using this right now. Not on this map. What? Where? Oh, they're right behind me. I don't know. I'm kind of conflicted on whether or not I should name this Call of Duty Ghost on the Xbox 360 in 2022 or Stonehaven is the greatest map of all time and here's why. Humiliate the next enemy you kill. I got you. I was probably gonna do that anyway. Let me be honest. What the f- I don't want to play this. I'm gonna snipe. Whatever. Sniping in this game is not even close to my specialty, but you know what? Stonehaven. I don't have much of a choice. On one hand, it's pretty cool that they got all this run on the 360, but on the other hand, I'd much rather prefer playing the Xbox One version right now. I can't lie. Although, what I will say is it's kind of crazy that people are still playing the 360 version, even though the Xbox One version exists. Maybe just because more people have it. I don't know. Currently going 0 and 4. I think this is the worst I've ever done on Ghost. Actual disaster. Did he just get noob tube? I should have just killed him. This is how you play Stone Ape. It's all about the tactical gameplay. That's what Ghost is all about. It's the same dude. Thanks. I got a melee kill. Tough luck. Oh, I did it. <laughs> it's the same guy. My bad. You need to do it. I messaged the K7, I'm done with sniping. For a Stonehaven game, is this this is progressing oddly fast, but I'm still I mean, you know, as you know, like Call of Duty was meant to be slow. I feel like anything like fast paced in a Call of Duty game just doesn't really make sense. It really just detracts from the true Call of Duty experience that everyone that that the developers intended. I just keep farming these squad points. You really got them so fast in this game, there's like virtually no progression. You did not get that much for like leveling up or anything, because you just bought everything with these squad points here all the time. Okay, I just went from going negative to Still going negative, but still not being top of the leaderboard. That's cool. I forgot I can slide in this game. ID. What's my sense on it? This is very low. Three? Bro, what? I was playing on five cents the entire time. This guy has the clan tag camp. I just know that guy voted for Stonehaven. There's no way they didn't. That's a Stonehaven voter right there in the flesh. Yes, I feel like Modern Warfare, like Modern Warfare 2019 was more of a ghost to than like a Modern Warfare sequel. Is that just me? Like as a whole, like the vibe, the, like gameplay pacing that they were going for, it just, it's just more of a ghost game than a Modern Warfare game. A ton of people are like, ooh, where's Ghost 2? <laughs> Imagine they made a Ghost 2, but they did make a Ghost 2. It's Modern Warfare. Is that a... Is that a oh, it's a wolf. I might, I might be brain dead for that take, but I don't care. Modern Warfare has more ghosts than Modern Warfare. Or COD 4, more either. I don't know, you get the idea. Also, I don't know if I remember this incorrect, but I'm pretty sure Ghost actually had, like, the Ghost TTK. Or, like, any COD. If I remember correctly, I have a different game to be honest with that. But as far as I remember, I think it's Ghost, which honestly makes sense as to why it's also considered sometimes like like the easiest Call of Duty. Cause like you just like aim and they sprint and they're already gone, which is also very similar to Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare's TTK, technically speaking, isn't higher than some of the older Modern Warfare games. But like the like the hit hit reg is so much better that, that like basically like in practice it is higher. I don't know. I'm just saying shit for no reason, but that might be true. Ooh. Okay, game ended. Let's not vote for Stonehaven again. I'd appreciate that. I feel like ranked would be like so fun in this game, Loki. I don't know, just something about it. Was Clan Wars okay? Was Clan Wars ranked, or is that just like a completely different thing? I, I'm generally not sure. Oh, Sovereign. We're on Sovereign. Uh, I don't have that much time to play on this map. I'm gonna be honest. 
I can break through the- oh. I panic. Here's another ghost take. I low-key enjoy the perk system. I know that's like, kind of controversial, maybe? I don't know, I haven't read about it in like forever. But it generally wasn't that bad, and I wouldn't mind if they brought it back. It's not something I'm gonna be like, screaming at Activision or like, Treyarch and Infinity Ward. Like, oh my god, please bring it back. It's like, it'd be cool. Earn one headshot kill. Should be easy. Just gotta find someone first. There it is. Give me that squad point. I forgot you got a kill streak for, for field orders. What? They really completed a field order last game, just didn't call in my care package. What if I got like a chem strike? Wait, what if I got a chem strike now? Hold on. It's an IMS. What does an IMS do? Is this just a UAV thing? I don't know what this does. What does it do? Well, I think I just exploded it. Yeah. What, what does that do? What does an IMS do? Is that like an advanced UAV? I know like the UAV in this game was just like a little thing you place down. Yeah, this game had a lot going for it, but I feel like following it up after Black Ops 2, which is still arguably the greatest game they've ever, they've ever made. Plus like some of the maps, especially like the, like the pre-DLC maps, it could have been so much better. That's all I'm gonna say. I generally wonder where Call of Duty would be today if, if Ghost didn't flop. And it just did insanely well. And like people loved it. Call of Duty just like never stopped growing. Cause I feel like Ghost, like as much as I like think it's good, it's great. It like definitely started like the new like sort of meh era of Call of Duty. Oh. On. Give me this. Oh, I forgot I don't even have kill streaks on. <laughs> I'm using specialist on I think every class. Yeah, that shit makes makes your character insane. Like specialist was already kind of crazy in Modern for three, because now you have like three extra perks plus then the bonus, which gives you like even more. But now you have all that plus like the new perk system where you can have like eight perks on at one time if you like did everything correctly. Like, dude, it's kind of nuts. Can I go upstairs and just like pick up this guy's ammo? What the hell is this? Ground jammer, give me that. Or the game's gonna end. But yeah, that's Ghost. I hope you enjoyed this video and my garbage takes. If you somehow enjoyed this, subscribe. I guess.